Hey everyone, it's Matt AK Tech Ranger, and today I've got a quick video for you just talking about the recent update for Starfield, which actually introduced achievement friendly paid creations. I actually had to scroll back up just to make sure I read that correctly. So I thought in this video we could quickly go over what that looks like in the creations menu and then what that also looks like when you're loading up a game. I think this news is pretty great for those who maybe haven't touched mods before because of that one thing and that most mods do disable achievements, paid or not. Well now, that's different. So one of the first mods to become achievement friendly that is not by Bethesda was this McLaren's Outfitters by King Geth Creations. I plan to check that one out soon, but that team also recently did the Bard's College expansion for Skyrim as well as Sim Settlements that was for Fallout 4. The Bethesda Creations were also achievement friendly, stuff like the weapon skins and then the couple free mods that they also released today. But now that also includes mods that are made by verified creators. So as an example, I wanted to demonstrate this in videos. So I use the Old World Weapons mod, it's a paid creation. Previously this would disable achievements, but now it does not. So let me show you how that works. If you see a paid creation like this in the store, you will now see a tag saying if it is achievement friendly. This tag existed before, the only place you'd see it though is on those Bethesda creations. So normally if I wanted to play on my original save without any mods that disable achievements, I would just disable all creations and then I'd go back into my list and then enable the ones that were achievement friendly. When I load up my original save, I'm good to go. So now I've re-enabled the Old World Firearms pack and then found those items in game and everything seems to work as intended and then I didn't get a pop-up saying that achievements were disabled. I would be extra mindful of what character you're actually loading up. Remember, the C with the brackets means that there's a save with creations that were installed previously that did disable achievements. A character with none of that means that that is your original save. In the creations menu you can sort by verified creators and then that way you can see a list of everything that is achievement friendly not made by Bethesda. Verified creators have that little blue check mark next to their name, Bethesda mods have that little gear icon. The little lightning strike icon denotes that there are credits involved so it's a paid mod. The free ones, at least at this moment, by verified creators will not be achievement friendly. So I hope that this quick little video was helpful for you if you weren't aware of the update today. It was kind of unexpected. So let me know in the comments what type of paid creations you're using and how you're faring so far with using them on your main save. But thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.